So this morning I woke up and I did not bounce out of bed before the sunrise. In fact, I kind of slept in till long after the sun was up and I dragged myself out of bed. I was feeling tired and headachy and just out of sorts. And I came into my office where I usually start my morning with the Lord and there was a piece of artwork I left setting out the night before and I kind of doodled with that for a while and I checked my email and my calendar and it was a whole hour before I realized I had yet to even acknowledge the Lord's presence. Now if you've been a Christian for very long you know that we're all supposed to spend our daily time with the Lord, our devotional time, whatever you want to call it, but just a time where we spend in prayer and in reading his word and in communion with him. We're, we're supposed to start our day out that way, right? I certainly love those mornings when I bounce out of bed and I come running in here and grab my Bible and I'm all ready to engage the presence of God. But if I'm honest, that doesn't happen as, as often as I would like. In fact, lately it's been a little bit tougher because, you know, honestly, I haven't been eating as healthy as I should. And so it's having an effect on my ability to wake up in the morning. Now, let me start by saying that our daily time with the Lord, <laughs> this devotional time that I've known we're supposed to have every day since I was little, I've known we're supposed to have this time with the Lord. The thing is, is it's not supposed to be a, a ritual or something that we have to drag ourselves to. It's spending time with someone we're in love with. It's, it's that time where I get to hear his voice and where I get to become more like him as he speaks to me and reveals truth to me. And I get filled with his presence and his anointing so that I can face the day with a, with a sense of his nearness. And so it's so important. It's important to me. I want those times in the morning with him. Well, you might struggle with that sometimes like I do. And I want to give you three ways, three keys that help me. Like this morning when I was feeling so out of it and so not able to engage the presence of God. What did I do in that moment? First, <laughs> welcome to Love on Fire. This channel exists to help you engage the Holy Spirit in the Bible so that your faith comes alive. If you need that, if that's something that is exciting to you, then please subscribe to the channel, hit like on this video, and visit my website where there are a ton of resources to help you engage the Holy Spirit in the Word of God. So the first key to engaging in that daily time with the Lord is to just be honest with yourself about where you're at and why you're there. What are you expecting? Are you expecting to meet the Lord in the morning or are you just kind of going through the routine? And if you're not expecting him to show up, if you're not expecting to have a meaningful time with the Lord, then that's something you need to seek God about. That's the first thing you need to seek God about in the morning because we have to come before God with a pure heart. Psalm 24 says, Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false. You know, I have to confess that a lot of times when I'm having a hard time engaging the presence of God, it's because I have not positioned my own heart to be ready for that. Now, sometimes that, and a lot of times that involves the, the need to confess to confess the sin of not being where God would want me to be in my mindset, in my attitude, and in my hunger for Him. Sometimes that's because I've let other things become more important than my time with Him. The piece of artwork that's laying out, all the things that I have to do during that day that are weighing on me, those things aren't more important than spending time with God. Sometimes I just need to remind myself of that because I feel like I have so much to do. I'm afraid that if I spend time with God, I'm not going to have time to do everything. Well, even if that's true, spending time with God is more important. It's worth the getting up early to have that extra time with Him. It's worth giving up the TV show or not going to Facebook first thing in the morning. Spending time with Him, the one that I love, the one who loves me, is more important than any of that. You know, part of positioning our heart is cultivating that hunger for the Lord. And when we let lesser things fill our time and fill that hunger, 
that's when it's hard to engage his presence. So get those things out of the way. Confess them as sin before the Lord, that they are coming before your relationship with him and just get them out of the way so that you can engage his presence. And key number two is worship. Focus on him, on his worth. Worship him, whether that's just to speak out how grateful you are, how much you love him, or put on worship music. You know, a lot of times I'll even put on a video of worship from YouTube so that I can see the hunger of other people, and that stirs up my hunger. Make sure you're spending that time focusing on him, on who he is, every day. You know, a lot of times our our problems and our responsibilities are what we're so focused on that they become larger than life to us. And once again, our, our relationship with God is put on the back burner. But if you worship him, if you focus on him first thing, then he is what is magnified in your eyes and in your sight. He's what you see. And the problems and the issues and the responsibilities become smaller. You know he will carry them. He will handle them as you focus on him. So key number one was position your heart. Make sure you have any sin, any bad attitudes, any mindsets, anything you're putting before the Lord out of the way. Number two, focus on him. Worship him. Do whatever you need to do, whether it's go for a walk or or put on worship music. Do what you need to do to focus your eyes on him. Key number three is to honor the word of God. I think so much cynicism and doubt has come into our culture that we actually don't reverence. We've forgotten how to reverence God and the things of God, the the word of God. And if you will just take that time to just acknowledge that you're not just reading the Bible because you have to because you're a good Christian. You're reading the Bible because God has something to say to you. Now, if you're a Christian, if you love God, then you want to engage him every way you possibly can. And there is an encounter waiting to happen for you in the word of God as you learn how to engage the Holy Spirit in the word. Now, I have a lot of videos and a lot of materials that can help you with that. But what I want you to take from this video is just to make sure that there is a reverence in your heart for everything that the Lord wants to say to you in his still small voice, but especially through the written word that he's given us. The fourth and final key I want to give you is to learn to stop for his presence. Now, it's good to set aside a time every day. That first thing in the morning is what I love to do. Set apart that time to spend with God and be disciplined about it. But there's also the discipline of of recognizing when his presence is with you and speaking to you throughout the day. You know, then maybe a worship song comes on the radio or you're able to poke your head out into to nature for a minute or you're just sitting there and you're overwhelmed by the sense of who he is. Make sure you stop and acknowledge those times. Don't just rush past them, but take a minute to acknowledge that his presence is there with you throughout your day. I think you'll find as you honor those times of his presence kind of breaking in on you, that you're going to experience it more and more. And that that is really the the goal of even these day, this daily time with God is that we would experience him all day long, <laughs> all day, every day. And having this time in the morning where we set aside for him is just that acknowledgement of, Lord, this is a priority in my life. I'm making time for you. And thank you that you make time for me, that even when I'm busy or distracted, that you still break in with your presence to remind me of how important this relationship is. So I I hope that's helpful for you. I hope that you'll not get discouraged if you're having a hard time engaging the presence of God, but that you'll just be honest with him and ask him, Lord, what do I need to do? to experience your presence this morning, Lord. I want to hear you in your word. I want to hear your voice to me in my life. I want to sense your presence. How can I do that? Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, I thank you that when we ask for the Holy Spirit, that you give us the Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, I thank you that right now your presence is with each one of us, Lord, whether we sense it or not, that you are always at work. You are always with us. Lord, I just ask that you would make us more aware of your presence, Lord. 
that you'd increase our hunger, Lord God, that those areas where we've let other things come in and, and take the place of our hunger for you, God, that those would get out of the way. Lord, that you would humble us again, that we would be able to see our need of you again and, and have that hunger, that desire for a relationship with you, Lord. I pray that every morning, Lord, we would bounce out of bed ready to, to engage your presence. But even in those mornings when that doesn't happen, where we have to drag ourselves out of bed, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit would draw us and beckon us, Lord, and that you would make us responsive to your call, Lord God, that you would give us that desire to spend that time with you. Lord, we love you so much, and we want to love you so much more. Help us, Jesus. Amen.